Hello, my friend. I pray that you're well today and that you thoroughly enjoyed the holiday season. But do you ever find yourself struggling just a little bit the week after Christmas? You know, some of us experience a little letdown after the holidays. You know, for us, that week between Christmas and New Year's always feels a little uncomfortable or that we're sort of in a life pause between what was and what is to come. It reminds me of going through a life transition period. Do you know what I mean? It's like you aren't where you used to be, but you haven't arrived at the new place. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Moses and the people of Israel experienced a place of transition after leaving Egypt. Do you remember the story? It's found in Exodus chapter 14, starting in verse 13. God's people had been held in captivity in Egypt for 430 years. Mm. They'd been forced into slavery and treated extremely harshly. Yet when the time was right, God raised up Moses to come and lead his people out of captivity and into a land that had been promised to their forefathers. God demonstrated his power and provision when he divinely intervened in their circumstances to deliver them and set them free. That's right. And after leaving Egypt, God led Moses to bring the Israelites to the Red Sea. This was a place of transition for them. They were no longer in bondage, but they had not yet arrived at the place of promise. But as the people were camped at the edge of this huge body of water, they discovered that they were being pursued by Pharaoh's army. The king's strongest and most experienced of elite warriors were coming to bring them back to Egypt in slavery. The people were terrified, and rightly so. They had no way to defend themselves and nowhere to run. In their terror, the people began to cry out to Moses. They began to accuse him of leading them to their mm. destruction. Moses, as any strong leader should, began to speak a word of encouragement and hope to the people. But at the same time, he was crying out to God. And God told him exactly what to do. It seemed crazy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but God told him to lead the people forward. I'm sure Moses must have been confused because moving forward was going to take them right into the sea that was in front of them. Mm. You see, God had a plan, a seemingly impossible plan, but nevertheless, it was a God type of plan. He told Moses to stretch out his staff over the water of that sea and he would see a miracle. Moses believed him. He lifted his staff and stretched it out just as God had told him to do. And as he did, the wind began to blow and the waters were divided and pushed back, creating a dry path right through the middle of the water for the Israelites to pass through. Yes, and the Israelites were able to cross over on dry land because God had delivered them miraculously. Their enemies were destroyed and they were able to move on toward the place that God had promised them. The place of transition that had seemed so frightening for them was changed into a place of provision. That's what makes those awkward transition places in life so powerful. They make room for God to move in new ways. We hope that you really heard that no mm. matter where you are, or what you're going through, God promises to be with you. Yes. All we need to do is cry out to Him, and He will meet us and make a way for us. We can navigate these times of transition by walking in faith, mm. knowing that God will never fail us. That's right. Well, God bless you now, and all through the new year, too. And see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.